In other news tonight, jury deliberations expected to begin tomorrow in Michael Valva's murder trial. The prosecution and defense gave their closing arguments today. News 12's crime reporter Kristen McNally has been following this case from the very beginning and was in the courtroom and has the latest details. Good evening, Krista. Good evening, that's right. It was a packed courthouse today as both sides in the Michael Valva trial gave their closing arguments. Now, many people in the courtroom actually knew little Thomas, including some of his teachers and principal from their East Mariches Elementary School. Now, the prosecution opened up with a photo of Thomas Valva taken the day before he died in class with red cheeks and beat red hands, giving a thumbs up. They then showed a photo from 117 2020 of Thomas Valva's autopsy and described him as the same broken little boy shown in the picture from the day before. Carrie Ann Kelly, the lead prosecutor, said Michael Valva had complete disregard for Thomas's life. She said Thomas was banished to the garage, there was physical abuse in the home, and said that child was being tortured in that house of horrors. The prosecution said the father had no emotion as he walked right past his son's backpack that was left in the cold garage where the child slept before dying of hypothermia when it was 19 degrees out. And then the father taking the son in the backyard to wash him off naked as the child collapsed more than once on the pavers as the father yelled at him in an expletive filled ramp rant. They say the boy's father walked past that backpack many times before his arrest and never even looked inside the last thing the little boy left behind. Defense attorney John Laturco said Michael never wanted Thomas to, to die. He said he loved his son and he described this case as a tsunami of emotions. The defense said the DA wants to demonize Michael Valva and portray him as a cold-blooded monster. Defense attorney John Laturco Laturco told the jury that murder too is an overzealous charge. Laturco said they are going to see that Michael Valva is guilty of child neg neglect, maltreatment, atrocious parenting at times, lying to police by not giving them the full narrative of what happened, and saying horrible things to Thomas. However, as far as murder too, Laturco said we claim there are a plethora of reasonable doubts. Take a listen to what the defense attorney had to say. We uh, strategically decided to uh, tell the jury that Michael was guilty of criminal negligent homicide, which is that he failed to perceive the risk of that day that uh, Thomas, uh, that he was a contributory uh, negligent a part of Thomas's death. And we felt that Michael failed to act as a parent. He failed in his duty as a parent. And uh, we think that that would uh, result in hope that it would result that the jury would uh, be less inclined to find him guilty of the more serious charges of depraved indifference murder. Now, tomorrow morning, the jury will be charged in this case. Michael Valva has pled not guilty to the charges he is facing, and if convicted on the top charge, he faces up to life behind bars. That's the latest from Riverhead. Krista McNally, News 12 Long Island.